All right, YouTube, Big Germs Garage here. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different than usual um, series, and I'll, I'll probably have to do a couple different parts to it, part one, two, and three maybe. Um, I've got this, I believe it's like a 2000, 2001 Polaris Magnum 325 four-wheel drive uh, four-wheeler. Uh, I just did like an introduction a minute ago. It was kind of a long past due video. Um, I've had this for about a year and a half but I never made a video of it. Um, pretty much I got it and just kind of put it over in storage. Um, so in that video I mentioned that uh, I've got someone who wants to buy the motor off of it. Actually uh, I'm planning on meeting up with him tomorrow. So in this video series I'm going to be taking off as much as I need to to get the motor off. Um, so that's where we're going to pretty much start. Uh, what I wanted to say is, and the reason I'm saying this now, and I'll, I'll probably have to do it every time I use this camera, is because some people don't understand how the camera works because it's kind of new. But I am recording this with a 360 fly camera. Um, it works really good if you're using some sort of a tablet to watch this video or your, maybe your cell phone. Um, so what you should be able to do is you should be able to move your, your tablet around or your phone so that you can see pretty much all that I'm working on. Um, so if the, this picture is looking up at my nose or looking down at my feet, um, it might just be the way that you have your, your, your tablet or whatever held. If you are on a desktop, you can click and drag the screen or click the little circle on the top left um, to move around as well. Um, one other thing is usually the quality. When I look at the videos, the quality sometimes is set really low. So if you click at the bottom right, there should be a little wheel thing you can click and you can bump it up to 720 or 1080 uh, for, for high def, which makes it look a little bit better. All right, so with this camera, I've got about 10 minutes um, before it, it's pretty much, it only takes up to about 10 minute videos. So the parts are going to depend on how fast I can move and how, how much time is left in the 10 minutes. So I'm going to be moving quickly. Um, what I've got it set up is I've got my, my tray here with all my tools that I probably will use most likely. Um, my other cart over here has got all my other tools that I might need as well. Um, and if I go through whatever's here and in this other cart, I've got my toolbox over there, uh, which pretty much has whatever else I, I might need. So tools that I'm probably going to use, um, I've got all my, I usually use metric, um, uh, pretty much whatever I'm working on, I figure out what, what's the right size. But um, the 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 14 is probably going to be my, my main go-to's. I might use the 8 some, uh, maybe the 17, but uh, the 12, 10, and 14 is going to be the main ones. I've got my my air here so I can uh, get off some some things quickly as well um, I'll be using that some I've got my I really like the uh, ratchet sockets I'll be using those as well um, same thing the 10s 12s 14s I've got a couple different types of pliers to use um, and then also probably about six months ago I purchased uh, a little impact driver here um, rechargeable one just from Harbor Freight it's cheap um, I've only got one battery that actually works the other battery for some reason won't hold a charge but I've already got that preloaded with my uh, 10 millimeter socket, and then I got some bigger sockets here real quick. So this is just kind of set up so I can grab quickly. But if I need something else, I've got it over there. Um, I've got a trash can set up for trash, another trash can set up for parts that I take off. Um, so I'm gonna start rolling through it, um, and then we'll see how much we can get done in 10 minutes. So if you watch this video and Tom runs out and I'm in the middle of talking about something, then just uh, check. I'll, I'll probably put a link so you can get to the next video or, or just look for it. Um, so I got this four-wheeler. The motor runs, um, and I'll talk while I'm doing this. I'm going to go ahead and take this plastic off first. Um, I got this four-wheeler. Honestly, I can't remember what I paid for, but I went to get a uh, Polaris Explorer 400, and that one came out by hand. The other one's tight. And uh, he had this four-wheeler as well, and that's going to be a 11 or a 12. Um, he ended up s selling me both of them for, uh, let's see if 11 works. For a pretty good deal. So I got both full wheelers. This one, he shot a little bit of starter fluid in it, um, jumped it with his car, and it started up. So I know this motor will run. So the guy that's buying it tomorrow, that's pretty much all I told him. I'm, you know, all I know is that this motor will run, but I, I don't know if there's anything else wrong with it. Um, this is the four wheel drive version. Um, I've been rolling this thing up into my, up into my garage. And these plastics are broken, so I'm not too concerned about them. Um, rolling it up into my garage, the, the transmission is, is, is stuck in gear, so I couldn't get into neutral, and I don't know if it's a full drive issue or if they're all stuck, or if it's a, um, the, the main transmission or what, so I'll, I'll have to check out that some more. Um, 
figure out, but the, it is four wheel drive. It's missing the front shafts for the front wheels. You can see right here, it's got a crack right there. Um, somebody might still want it. I might put it on Craigslist. It just broke them up a little bit at the bottom here. Um, but other than that, for the most part, it's in good shape. So I'm just gonna put it over here in my parts pile. And actually, if you remember when I had the other shop, um, most of these parts here is the stuff I haven't put on Craigslist or not. It's a lot of Polaris parts. Um, I've had a bunch of Polaris's over the, uh, probably the last four or five years. But all right, so here's the airbox top. I'll, Toss that in the bucket. Well, we got the gas tank. That's uh, the bolts that I took out a second ago, one by hand and one by um, with the 11 millimeter that when it was stuck, they pretty much hold the tank in. So we got the fuel lines. I don't think there's anything in here. I'll pop these off real quick. The motor's gonna need to be cleaned. I was hoping to clean it up earlier or something but everything's frozen from all the snow we've gotten. All right, that's not going to work. I might just have to cut these. I'm not going to use these lines anyway. So I got these new uh Bluetooth headphones for uh <laughs> back for Christmas and usually I don't have any music playing when I'm, I'm just gonna cut them. Uh, when I'm making videos, because I don't want music in the background because because uh, of YouTube rules and stuff. So I'm trying to make this, <laughs> trying to talk and listen to music at the same time, so it's something to get used to. But my uh, cousin, who's in a lot of my riding videos, he's a lot younger. Uh, things in high school now but back when he was in middle school and we were riding and making videos and everything he always wanted me to put music in my videos but once you do that pretty much YouTube takes over the rights and gives uh takes the rights away for the video for the the, the artist so you, one thing I'm usually hesitant on is is putting music in but I do have a couple riding videos with music and stuff but not not many all right so I'm going to pop these off to get this um this it's probably a 10. Pop this thing off here. Yep, 10. We got one up here. Same thing. Toss this in the bucket. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to come back and get this off in a minute. I'm going to get some of this other stuff out of the way. This uh, air box. 10 there. 10 millimeter there. Air box is out. Actually, it might not take that many, many videos. I'm actually at eight minutes, so I'm going to be cutting it in a second. Um, carburetor's mounted on. It's got this bracket there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and... I do, I do have some screwdrivers here as well. Some different sizes that I might have to use some. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to undo the carburetor boot from this side. All right, so once I get this loosened up, I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. This will be the end of part one. Um, stay tuned, click over for uh, part two. Um, probably might be in the description because I don't know if I can add, I, I don't know if adding annotations will mess up the 360 view or not. But um, I'm going to go ahead and switch it over and uh, catch you in the next one.